Hi guys, I just want to make a quick video on how to get Jelly Bean on uh, your Samsung Galaxy S3 devices that uh, it, sh it should work for every international Galaxy S3 device. Uh, please do not use it for your uh, AT&T, uh, what, what else, the Verizon variants. This is just for the international, I think it's called GSM model. So do not use them on the uh, other variants as I said. You have been warned, if it breaks your device, you know, sucked in, I warned you. So first of all, you have to have in, uh, Samsung keys installed. Make sure there's no problems with that. Make sure your device successfully installs into that and, uh, uh, not installs, uh, you, uh, make sure that Samsung keys recognizes your device, first of all. That's the most important thing. Uh, it's a piece of shit software, I know, guys, but uh, can't bear with it. There's no other uh, variant out there. Next, uh, you have to download Odin. Which is this program? If you uh, if you like to mod your Galaxy S3 and all that, uh, you probably know about it. So it's right. This is the uh, what do you call it thing right there. And then you uh, extract it. Obviously, use your favorite uh, extracting you know utility. Uh, use WinRAR. Also, you have the 774 megabyte uh, firmware. You're gonna have to uh, extract that and. Uh, yeah, and before I show you how to do that, guys, first of all, I've already done it, and uh, I just want to tell you guys that this does not void your warranty because you're not installing a custom firmware. This is the actual firmware that was released in Poland, uh, and I didn't really want to wait because if, if you guys live in Australia, you guys know that updates come to Australia very late, and uh, I don't know why. It's a first world country, but everything get, comes here late, so uh, I really... I, I really hate that, so I just went ahead and installed the official Jelly Bean, and I'll just change the language. It's not a really a big deal. It's going to be same everywhere. And uh, I just want to go ahead and say that I'm with uh, Optus. It's locked to the Optus network, but as long as it's an international model, it doesn't really matter. So first of all, put it in download mode. And if you don't know how to do that, there's a, a lot of videos on there on YouTube. Just type uh, how to put your Samsung Galaxy S3 into download mode. But basically, what you do is hold it down, hold the uh, home and hold the power button simultaneously until it reboots. Uh, keep holding it, keep holding it until the screen comes up with some writing and it says uh, has a, uh, a yellow sign with an exclamation point right in the middle of it and it says something about custom firmwares or whatever. Just click up and it'll be in download mode. Plug your the uh, USB device, your micro USB in, and then wait for it. Uh, a yellow bar to come up. It says like COM3 for me, but it, it will say anything. Like, as long as it's yellow and it says something, uh, it would connect it. I'm not, every device varies. Uh, yeah, so first of all, you press PDA. Uh, everything will be unchecked here. Uh, please don't play, don't play with any of these. Uh, these. This will be unchecked. So press PDA. Go into wherever you extracted that. For my case, it's the desktop. Uh, click on this the MD5 file, press open, it will be checked and it will have it right here. Press start. Uh, yeah, all, uh, sorry about that guys. Uh, all the code, all this code will come up. Uh, wait for it all to finish. Don't play with anything until it says pass. It will either say fail, pass, or it will be stuck. Uh, I haven't had it stuck yet with me, but uh, I've heard from some people it does, so please bear with it. Uh, this is an official firmware, as I said. It will not break your device. You will not be voiding your warranty. You're just updating uh, through something else. So you're updating to an, an it's an official update that was released in Poland, as I said. Uh, and so it's not, it's not custom. If you send it in for warranty purposes or something happens to your device, uh, you, there will be no chance of voiding your warranty. So. All this code will come up as you see it took 4 minutes and 36 seconds for my device to finish so it just rebooted right now so here it is. Uh, what does it say? Swipe across the screen, yeah whatever. Okay. Let's uh... I can, I really, I noticed right away that the scroll bar has changed. So you got, they added this brightness control right here, you can select auto. Let me go into settings and prove to you guys that it works and also my language is not in Poland. I've seen some videos on not Poland, Polish. It's not in Polish right here because it's a Polish update, obviously. But uh, all the videos I've seen on YouTube, uh, I got this off the guy that has the the uh, website called uh, Cursed Cursed for Life, I think. Uh, but 
you know, uh, I give a shout out to him. Thank you for your instructional video. I just wanted to put it out there. So credit to him. Check out his, uh, you know, channel, guys. He makes great videos for the HTC One X and uh, Samsung Galaxy S3. That's the ones I watch. I love it. So as you can see here, Android 4.1.1. And uh, that's Jelly Bean. And there it is. But I didn't know. I don't know why it doesn't have the face. Oh, right there. Right. So here it is. You just chuck the jellies around, and that's the uh, Easter egg. And uh, yeah, so let me just show you guys that. Yeah, this is the. This is the Galaxy. S3 International and uh, yeah thanks for watching guys uh, please comment rate and subscribe I'll help you with anything just leave a comment down below and as I said don't use this for the AT&T and Verizon variants I'll see you later